Okay, now we're going to talk about adding different objects together, different subtools, and dynamashing them to create a single mesh. So, to start with, we have two different ways of doing this. One is using a specific brush called the Insert Mesh, and then the other one is to add different objects by appending them into this subtool right here, and then combining them and redynamashing them as one piece. So, let's start covering the Insert Mesh brushes. If I hold B for brush and immediately hit the I for insert, you will notice that we have a series of brushes that start with either I, M, or just insert. So here we have the I, M, M army curve. And this one stands for insert multi-mesh. That means that these brushes right here that start with I, M, M have multiple meshes that we can insert. And we'll talk about that in the insert multi-mesh tutorial that we've created where we show you how to use these brushes and how to create your own insert multi-meshes. But the ones that I want to cover are the insert polygonal shapes. We have the insert cube, insert cylinder, the insert cylinder extrusion, the insert cube, and on and on. So if I was to select, for example, the insert cylinder, the way that this works is that if I have an object like this sphere right here that is dynamesh, as soon as I click and drag, you will notice that my object is masked and what I've inserted is unmasked. This allows me to move this object in whichever direction I want. So for example, if I go to the top view and I rotate this object, I'm going to select R for rotation. I'm going to click and quickly drag my transpose tool and then I'm going to rotate this cylinder right here to the side somewhere right here then I can use W for move and I can move my cylinder I can move it in I can again rotate it by hitting R and please do watch our transpose tool tutorial where we cover how to do all these steps right here. I'm going to get rid of perspective by clicking on this icon right here, perspective distort, or just hitting the letter P. There we go, much better. And once I move my inserted cylinder where I want it, and in the angle that I want, let me again hit R for rotate and try to align this correctly. W for move. So let's say that I'm happy right there where this brush is right now. And I want to leave it there and combine both of them. What we would do, because this is a dynamesh object and the cylinder is not, and please do look at my polysphere and realize that the cylinder is now part of this polysphere. I have another object right here, but this is for the second demo on how to insert meshes. Notice that because this object is masked and this one is not, I have the ability to switch which one is masking by holding the control key and just clicking on my canvas. Now my cylinder is masked and my sphere is unmasked. So I can do all kinds of stuff to my sphere. For example, if I use the transpose tool in the move, I can make this thinner, right? And on and on. So let's say that I'm happy with the position of this object. What I would do, I would use the control key once to clear my canvas. So control and then drag on your canvas. If you notice when I use the move tool, these two objects are not combined yet. I can demonstrate it by moving the cylinder, for example, or moving the sphere. However, when I do control drag for the second time, I will redynamize both of these objects together and this is what you get. Okay, So now we can hold the shift key and smooth our object. And we have created one object out of two different components by using the brush insert cylinder. You can do the same thing with the cube, curve, and on and on. Alright, so I'm going to go back to right before I had these two objects combined. Here's my poly mesh. 
And now we're going to talk about the second way of inserting another object into a Dynamesh object. So for example, right now, I have this sphere right here that I just appended by going to append and selecting this sphere right here, right? It's the same thing as this one right here. I just smoothed it out a little bit. And as you can see, my sphere is Dynamesh, but the cylinder is not. So if I turn on the visibility of both subtools, right? and I merge these two guys down by going to merge down you will see that we get a warning telling us that this is not an undoable operation I'm gonna hit cancel and usually what I do I duplicate these subtool right here and I will move this cylinder up I'm gonna hide the visibility of these two originals and I'm gonna merge the sphere down with the sphere cylinder we're going to merge down and it's going to tell me again this is not an undoable operation I'm going to say okay and now you will notice that these two objects have been merged however they are not technically merged because again I can use my move tool and I'm using the move topological and as you can see if I turn on my polyframe notice that they do look like they're together but they're not that is because we have to dynamesh these guys again so because the sphere was dynamesh, now I can go control and drag on my canvas and there you have it. I can use the smooth tool and smooth my object all the way around. And very quickly I was able to create one piece out of two objects. And this is how you add multiple objects using dynamesh.